This week's Wharf and Chips, hours and hours and hours in the planning. We're going to the M. Jallen Group. First stop, well, we were going to go to Foundry first, but my cameraman is not very good with navigation. So we've actually ended up here, so it seems opportune to go and chat with Michael, the MD of the Metalwork Group. So part of our impromptu visit, MJ Allen Metalworking. Michael, tell us all about it. Uh, well, yeah, MJ Allen Metalwork. Um, we're primarily we're in construction industry, yeah. so we do structural, uh, architectural, um, cladding as well. It's the building we're so in now, we we built and put up ourselves. Right. So the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, we've also just uh, acquired another business, um, right. so now we can offer laser cutting, um, machine fabrications, uh, powder coating, right. um, press break. Um, yeah, it's everything. Pre pretty much anything metal work we can pretty much do or offer. Okay, really. so great example of stuff that's in the well, in the car park. I'm saying, yeah, the storeroom is it? So, uh, yes, yeah, sort of at the moment. Well, just sort of getting ready to go out on sites yeah. and things. So we've got uh, balconies, we've got some balustrade in. Yeah. Um, so big Meccano kits really for the uh, un yeah. uneducated like myself. <laughs> yeah, if you want to say that. <laughs> Absolutely. And how long have you been going in this, uh, this company? Uh, this company, well, we originally started as Maver and Smith and that was 1996. Yep. Uh, we went in various sort of guises of yep. work. So we started in restoration really. Yep. And then we moved to this site in 2013, I think it was. Yep. Went into architectural and structural and sort of grown from there, really. Grown from there, and we've got some great examples on the website of the work you've done all around well, London, Kent, all around yeah. the country. Yeah. There you have it, an impromptu visit and a great example of the work they're doing at MJ Allen Metalwork. We've made it, unfortunately, Chris's camera skills are better than his navigation skills. So, this is MJ Allen Casting Machining. This is where it started in 1958. So, this is their foundry. They're manufacturing using different materials, so aluminium. Iron, steel, and gunmetal. Obviously, they're melting that down. The aluminium, for, for example, 860 degrees C. Once it's molten, it'll then be poured into castings. Now, that could be sand for your smaller batterons, or dye for your bigger batterons. And when I say bigger batterons, they can also do some big components, up to 2.2 tons in the steel. So, some huge, huge castings. You've made your castings. What are you going to do with them? You need to machine them. They've got some big machines here. They've got Dugard. DTS, but the latest acquisition is this, a Makino 100E. I'm standing on one of the tables here. It is huge, it will take up to five and a half tonnes. Don't say anything about that, but the working envelope in there is about 2.5 by 1.5 by 1.5. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't correct me if I'm wrong, but it is a beast of a machine, twin pallet, but they've got 30 of these pallets, so they're fully geared up for reduction runs, spindle speed, 18,000 RPM, in fact so big, it's got its own power source around the back, 188 tools and the tool change, you think it's going to be quite slow, it's super fast this machine, so it's geared out for big components and big, big production runs. So that's MJ Allen casting side of things, but how does it measure up? Let's get the verdict. As we've already intimated, MJ Allen have a large number of companies within the group. Now that includes Verdict, which actually manufacture gauges, so dial test gauges, through to fully automated measuring machines. And they invented the pear-shaped stylus point, which eradicates cosine error. And yet another company in the group is County Track Driveline Systems. Now these guys manufacture all-wheel drive systems for transit vans. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to see the production line later. And they do high clearance systems for things like tractors as well. And then they also provide bespoke solutions if required. Another part of Made in Great Britain is Rydal Precision Engineering down in Swanley, part of the MJ Allen Group as we're aware, but what they're doing is they're, they're transitioning from what they're known as, which is punch and die. So they've got the milling cell here, which is your three axis machines. You've got your EDM over there, which is wire, sink, and fast hole drilling. You've got your grinding there, some manual machines, and some more complex machines over here. And then your fixed head turning, but what they're doing is they're transitioning and they're opening up into new markets. So what they've got, what they've gone and done, is purchase this. It's a Matsura MX520, five axis machine. Now you think you can go from three to five axis, the transition has been really, really straightforward. They absolutely love it. We're chatting to Paul, the MD from the company, and he thinks it's absolutely brilliant. But they thought about this purchase, not just about cost and tools and spindle spin, things like that, but the day-to-day -day things that the engineers are going to be using. So watch this. 
just to access the simple things. You access the machine, loading and unloading of the billet. It's nice to simply get right in there. So it's really, really good. And then the next part of that process is actually the work holding solution. Now you would have seen these on our channel before. It's a Lang work holding solution. So if you can get back in there, they've got this set up with two vices at the moment, but it's a modular system. So they could plug another zero point system in here, which is actually this riser block here. So as I said, it's modular and that will bring the component up so you can get full access to the five axis machining which is absolutely brilliant for what they want and it gives the flexibility so they can take these vices and they can use it around the rest of the machine shop so in the EDM section in the grinding section so there you have it investing for the future to take them to new markets that's a rival precision let's go back to MJ Allen machining and casting we've had a fantastic overview of the MJ Allen group from metrology subcontract machine the foundry some big components of big machine but you've also got tying in with all this the county side of things which we touched on and the automotive and here is a gear casing which are manufacturing at their foundry and this is for Ford Transit vans but what they had to do is get a turnkey solution from a machine tool supplier so they went to Heller who provided this suite of H4000 machines twin pallet four axis super fast super accurate so it gears them up to enable them to manufacture around 200 per week when required of these fantastic components so there you have it, a great overview of the MJ Allen Group. Really, it's what's making manufacturing in Britain great.